They say that money makes the world go round, but who makes money go around the world? Only a few years ago, Africa was still a cash-based economy. Interswitch went on a mission to connect Africa to the digital age, uniting banks into one network, providing people and businesses with control over their finance. We are not about the quick sale. We like to step into your shoes, help take your business to the next level while keeping the bigger picture in mind. Even though our business can get complex, our mandate is clear. Create a cashless, convenient and clear interchange. Transactions at the speed of thought. A seamless experience. Intuitive exchange. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses into switch. Some of us may be wondering, oh, we're such a successful business, such a successful brand in Nigeria, and we're also going Pan-African. Why do you need to rebrand? Well, it's, it's, the answer is simple. We are aligning our brand strategy and identity with the business strategy. So for the brand, there's the need for us to have a consistent, single-minded communication across the business and create an alignment across the subsidiaries and across the different um, countries represented in Africa. We are also looking to be more globally competitive. Like most of, like we all know that most African brands are becoming formidable players in the global arena. Interswitch is a prime example. Our business is no longer local. We are also not just local. We are becoming global, and that is underscored by our strong drive for Pan-African relevance. So, so today um, we're celebrating the launch of our name. Um, we're going to hear a little bit more of that now. Um, but I have been asked, uh, you know, are, are you sad to see the end of Paynet? And I have to answer this and say, really, it, it's a question that really never struck me because it's not the end of Paynet. Um, uh, I think of a marriage. When you go into a marriage and one partner changes their name, they don't just disappear. Uh, they remain. Um, you choose to take the name of somebody else because you trust them, because you know that um, it's a good thing and it's a good partnership. So I do it with great joy, to be honest. Um, the, the important fo point for us is the business, the people, the customers, the stakeholders. And, and this is a good step forward for us. So I'm very pleased to be part of this and quite the opposite from being um, sad at seeing the, uh, the change from Paynet to Interswitch. I'm delighted. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, once more for Interswitch. What a maja, what a wedding. Beautiful one. Thank you, DJ. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 
I want to take this great pleasure of inviting the final speaker of the evening, the founder and managing director of InterSwitch Group. Hmm, another one. Hey. Mr. Mitchell Elegwe. Aha, clap for me now. Aha. Good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Why East Africa? A few years ago, we got the opportunity to invest in um, Bankom in Uganda. We did not search for that opportunity, it came. It was opportunistic. But this time around, we actually searched for an opportunity in Kenya because we felt if we're going to be in East Africa, not having a presence in Kenya itself was not a very smart thing to do. So we're indeed very grateful to the shareholders and the management team of PNET for accepting our friendship and our request to get married. From my experience, it appears that the East African market is a bit more integrated than we have in West Africa. We have found it easier to move, to fly down to, to East Africa than we can easily do in West Africa. We have found it easier to move around East Africa and we have found the people in East Africa to be very warm. And I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you. It is not easy to leave home to say you want to go invest in a new country. And so far, for what we have seen in Kenya, we think the decision to partner with PNET has been a very good one. <laughs> Congratulations, Interswitch.